since it's Miss Val's last season, it's such a bittersweet feeling because she's she's done such amazing things for this program. But I've been really pleasantly surprised at the way the team handled it. Every meet, I feel like there's this underlying factor of it being sort of a tribute to Miss Val's last season. I'm loving every moment while I am enjoying everything, every workout, every competition, every teaching moment with our student athletes. There's not been one moment that I have questioned my decision. It's time for me to move on. Stanford University has never charged for gymnastics tickets. Not ever, not a dollar, not until today. And how did the fan base react? In record numbers. A crowd upwards of 6,000 expected inside Maples Pavilion. They have come to see some of the best, like UCLA's viral sensation, Caitlin Ohashi, and the Bruins' legendary retiring head coach, Valerie Condos Field. It's UCLA and Stanford, and it's live on the Pac-12 Network. I love, 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 love these Leos. No, I don't like this one. Oh, oh, I think it's cool up here. Meet day has changed a lot for me over the years. I used to feel I had to posture. I had to strut, I had to have this serious face on. And then I realized I coach our student athletes to my best of my ability to not be anxious. Why am I posturing because I feel that's what coaches are supposed to do. So I threw that out the window, and that's really when I started just being myself. That's when the dancing started. During a meet, Miss Val has a very calm energy about her. She comes from a totally different perspective than any other coach. She comes from a place of teaching the girls how to, how to perform their routines versus just executing skills and dance. I am so happy for you. Thank you. You earned that Thank so you. much. Oh, that felt good. Wow, yeah, great job. The way she explains it, it's just so different than a lot of the other coaches around the country, and I think that's actually made our team so great and made her program so amazing. You just wanted to show everybody, didn't you? I would say that I always have the big life picture in mind because having to win to feel successful is not in my DNA. Kyla Ross just put up a 9-9 on the bars. Oh. Short stumbles back into the table. She's okay. So that's a surprise for UCLA and an opportunity for Stanford. When I have a student athlete that makes a mistake or has a fall, I'm like, all right, what did we learn from that? How are you feeling right now? What are you gonna do differently next time to have a different result? Let's use this as a teaching moment. It's not ever bigger than that. Who's down for the day? The fun part about winning is when it all comes together. The fun part is when you do have a mistake and then you see that next athlete come up and just kill it. Those moments stand out actually more than the tens. You got it? Yeah. Hey, don't take it for granted. Okay, nothing out there. Have fun, 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 fun. Love you. And let's all turn our attention now to Caitlin Ohashi, number one ranked in the country on the floor. Can 105 million people be wrong? Every time I see Caitlin out there, I just see this amazing human that she has developed into, and I'm just so happy for her and proud for her. Nothing better in life than watching someone who's really good at something, enjoying it. I think what's unique about this routine is that it looks like she's freestyling the whole routine, yeah. just going out there and having a good time. When you watch gymnastics, you go, what and how did they do that? And when you get to see it up close and personally, it's mind blowing. Just, just know it, know it, all right? The little, the little things that are happening in this meet aren't because you're doing bad gymnastics at all. It's not, but it's because you're just not dialing it and deciding to be great and brilliant. 
shine right up there, okay? Kyla Ross, but she had that awkward landing on the vault well where she stumbled back into the table. Well, Kyla's a fan favorite, so everyone just wants to make sure she's okay. Kyla Ross is one of the most amazing superheroes on the planet. She competed for the United States for seven years internationally. She never finished lower than third, ever. They're superheroes. Gymnasts are superheroes. UCLA just put up a season best on the balance beam. Valerie Condos Field, her final meet at Maples, does it again. The Bruins are number two in the country and still unbeaten. How'd you feel? I'm nervous. How come? I don't know. Thank I was doing it for everyone. Thank you. I knew you would. Yeah. Yeah. And I knew, I knew you would be great. Yeah. Anytime you do it for your team, you always show up. People have asked me a lot what I want my legacy to be. And what I want my legacy to be is I've proven that we can train champions when you coach the whole person and that when you bring joy to the process and that when you focus on how this is gonna affect them in life, not just on the competition floor. And if I can do that one little thing with each athlete that's been in my path, then wow. I've had a tremendous career.